Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. Okay, so I'm going back to Albuquerque this weekend. I thought I was going to make some videos for Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday while I was home, but I realized if I want to get everything I need to do done before then, I had to do all the videos for next week today. It's uh, Wednesday. And so the first one is going to be a paid promotion. Um, this particular Cosmos paper, a Galaxy paper, comes from Bled's Craft Supplies on Amazon. And if you buy three uh, items, you get 5% off. So I will put all that information down in the chat box below and you can check it out. All right, so let's start with the review. First of all, it's very pretty paper, I think. Um, it's 12 by 12. Each design has two sheets of paper. And the, the paper is really quite nice. All right. So we'll just go through this. As you can see, two sheets. It's white on the back. Um, I would say it holds up, you know, standard wise, you know, on the GSM. Let me see if I can find how much this GSM is. Hang on. Um, boy, oh boy. I should have figured that out beforehand. Let's see if it says 24 sheets, uh, 160 G wooden, wood free paper. So this is wood free paper. And uh, so. I don't know what type of paper that it is, um, if it doesn't have wood in it, but that's okay. And the interesting thing is, is you can see right here that it's got patterned paper underneath. So it's got like um, pieces of script underneath. That's That surprised me because I didn't notice that when I, I have, I had this on my um, list to buy when I did the Cosmos paper or Cosmos journal because I'm be doing a journal using Cosmos. I like these sparkly stars. Okay. And no, they're not paying me to say this. This is my honest evaluation, even though this is a paid promotion. Um, I would never sit here and parrot anything someone wanted me to tell me. So you can see that beautiful script there. Yeah. All right. Look at that. So it's like someone's notes on the universe. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that's, but yeah, it has different designs on each page. I mean, if you ask me, that looks like a big old frog, but anyway. Again, we got script in the background. It isn't in your face. Well, some, you know, on most pages, it's not in your face type script. It's just a little here and a little there, a hint. Yeah, this is the boldest we've, I think we've seen so far. There's one other page that's quite bold on, but most of it's very subtle and um, won't be a big deal. All right. All right, and the last page is a pretty aqua, or the second to last set is pretty aqua blue. So it's basically not a set that looks like someone was drying a wormhole there. Ha ha ha. 
I don't know. Oh, here's the, the one I was thinking about that was really bold script it was on this one. I was quite surprised to see that. I had to sit there and think whether or not I really liked the script or whether it bothered me. I decided I liked the script and it didn't bother me. And this one, it's got a, and I didn't see this. This is a hexagram. So I will probably cut that portion out of that piece of paper. But anyway, there's our um, show and tell. What I am going to do, since this is a very short video, is I'm going to use one piece and we're going to make some things with it. And since it is um, regular paper, or not regular paper, but one-sided paper, we're going to make it into two-sided by glue. Let me get my glue out. Oh. And we're going to try my sister's glue again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this around the outside of the 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then I'll use the, my sister's glue that she lent me. I wasn't sure. Some things I think it won't be, I won't be able to use it for, but that's okay. That's all glue. Um, except scotch crate glue stick. <laughs> I do like that. All right, so now I'm just gonna use this bigger because the reason why I'm using this is because it's actually, sorry, it's actually bigger than the, um, it's big. So the surface is big, so that way I can glue a bigger surface together. Now, we want to get this edge really nice, and you know, we want to get all the edges nice. Um, all right, got to work fast, April. Ah, all right, there we go. Now we got a two-sided piece of paper, all right? And what you're gonna need to do is really get the air bubbles out from between that. Now, where did I, what did I do with my paper cutter? Hang on, I know what I did with it. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Right now, this is a twelve. Oh, this is twelve by I think four. No, twelve by six. So six, twelve. Duh. Okay. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, let's see here. Do I have a? Oh yeah, here it is. All right, I am going to mark this at, this is six divided by, no, 12 divided by four is three. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna show you here. This is a four inch mark right here. So I am going to put my paper there and mark it on there. Then I'm going to take that down to the edge of my paper and then mark this one. Then we've got three four inch pieces of paper. Yep. All right, let's see. First one's here. I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a skosh off the edge because as you can see I didn't quite get that edge the way I wanted to. So we'll just make this one slightly smaller than the other one. All right so 
There we got one slightly smaller, no big deal. All right, now I need my scissors. Sorry, I should have been more prepared for this. Oh, I have, I have to go in the kitchen and get it. I see how the pairing know where it is. Sometimes I open packages out in my kitchen. Uh, all right. Now, I'm going to make it three tags just real quick. Now, if you really want to make these all the same, this is what I would do. Is I'd use the same template for all the corners so that you don't, so they all look the same. Me, I usually just use the same from the same one and all of them are different angles. But I am trying to become better. Practice does make better after all. All right. Then I don't know if I brought any blue ink with me. If I didn't, then we'll continue this when um, I get that back. Um, not the video, but when I do the Cosmos, we'll just... Um, So here we go, three tags, and um, trying to think of the different things I have from I have here for my. Hang on, um, let me see what I have here. I know I have washi tape. And I know I have paper, so here's the washi. Um, here's some paper. All right, that should do for the decoration portion of this video. All right, so. Um, these are. Cosmos stickers I got. Mm. You saw me show you on um, one of my Timo hauls. So, but we're not going to talk about that because we're talking about bleds. Um, get that again. We're talking about bleds craft supplies on Amazon. You buy three things, you get 5% off. All right. So um, let's see what this washi looks like. Um, no, I'm not going to save this. Sometimes I'll save the end, but that's a that's a, a little commercial, I think. I don't know. I'll have to decide, I guess. All right. If you hear the helicopter, it's been flying over my neighborhood for the last couple of hours. They might, the police are probably out searching for somebody. <sighs> Uh, there we go. Trash. Now, maybe I can see how to get this end off here. See, they, they have a piece of washi over the plastic that holds it together. So there we go. And then you can break it loose and slowly peel it off. Yeah, okay. Now, Let's see what we got. It looks like we might have stamps. Oh, that'll be cool. Um, let's see what we have here. Um, 
so we got this. It's a washi sticker. All right, well, let's do that then. You don't need too much glue to make it stick. All right. I'm just going to stick this here on the side like so. And let's see what else we've got. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, what do we have here? Mm, the sun, I guess. See him. I think, yeah, okay, we're gonna put this one on the next one. get this over here. I think I'm going to put it down here in the corner and we'll start collaging, you know, putting things together and seeing how they look. Um, all right, let's see what this looks like here. Um, let's do it up. Put it on this side this time so okay we've got three tags we've started you know decorating let's see if we can find a um a washi here that we like hmm. comes off really nice how cute is that so we can just put uh, let's see here let's put this with the that one all right now let's do a little lighter one i think on that one oh let's see yeah let's do this one i know it's i said i'd do a lighter one but it's got white on it <laughs> all right what are we going to do for the moon here oh let's do this one Let's do it that way. Okay, so that's the one side, and now we've got to flip it over and decide what we're going to do on this side. Um, I don't know if I want to use paper on this right now or not. Um, looks like a nebula in this on this sticker. Oh, we could use this one. See if this comes apart any nicer than last one. I saw a mat, and you put your sticker down, and you use a pair of tweezers, and the this part stays on the mat, and your sticker comes off. <laughs> I'm going to put this one down here. There we go. All right. Now what are we going to do? Maybe not. Hmm. Let's see if this is washi um, a sticker. Well, it's two of them. I know that. No, this is paper. All right. Paper. Pretty cool paper. I'll use this on the project. Ooh. Let's do this moon, maybe. I know what we can do for this one. Oh, get off my hands. Static electricity. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put that there. Oh, that looks nice, look at that. Okay, and then we're gonna put this crescent moon here. Or Yeah, this is the moon, if I can get it apart, that is. So I've got to figure out where I saw that mat to. 
you know, when you're tired at three o'clock in the morning, you, you, you're looking at stupid stuff on your phone and you scroll through something, you'd be like, oh, I'll remember why, where I saw that. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, three o'clock in the morning is usually when I'm buying Timo too. Anyway, I'm going back to Albuquerque this weekend and I am in the process if you're new to this channel welcome and i'm in the process of moving from albuquerque to phoenix um so that's why i'm so discombobulated and i'm not working on big projects at the moment although i have a very special announcement um i did start a fantastically fun um um project on Patreon. Um, it's, I'm working on a steampunk Rolodex and those videos are behind a paywall. And for $3 a month, you can view all my videos between now and the time I'm done making the, um, making the videos. You can also get all the free, um, you can get all the free videos uh, pardon me, uh, sample stationaries that I put on there as well. All right. Very cool. All right. This one is peeling up, so I'll have to see if it stays that way. Otherwise, I'll just peel it up and, you know, put glue on it like I should have done in the first place. Oh, I, I want to use this astrolabe. Mm -hmm. See, I'm getting all steampunky on you. And uh, anyway, so that's what I'm doing on Patreon. If you want to come over and check it out, fantastic. Love to have you all. And um, if you don't want to, you know, spend that money, I don't blame you. And I won't be mad that no one joins. It's, o it's okay. You can join for free. I'm trying to think of a small little project I can put up for the members who are there when they would like a free membership. So I haven't figured out what to do for that yet. Um, but I'm thinking on it. I just have to make up my mind what I want to do for free for the uh, viewers on Patreon. Now, should I have one? Oh, yeah, just one because we're using these stickers as a uh you know what mm -hmm. i wasn't smart i should have gone like that there i like the astrolabe on top so that's the front and that's the back and we'll put in a topper um not sure what topper i'm going to use but um that can be decided later there we go, front and back. And let's do one of these. Maybe put it down this way so that end will stay there. All right. Okay, now. Let me see if I have any blue. Oh, inks. I don't think I do. But I brought a bunch of my inks here just in case I didn't know what I would need per se. Mm. But I think I left all my blues at home in Albuquerque. So I may do the inking later. Well, I'll have to do the inking later, but we're going to see real quick. I brought my, all the ones that I used in my fall video or my fall journal because I'm re redoing the fall journal at the moment. So I brought all those colors. <laughs> I'll bring the blues back with me when I come back this time and I'll just do the, the inking around that later. All right, so that's that. Now, 
All right, I've got my, ooh, yeah, my nemesis. I brought my ne nemesis with me. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have any, um, let's see here. Um, that's funny, that star right there is the right dead center of my, um, <laughs> all right, well, meant to be. All right, all right, I'm just gonna punch a hole here, uh, 118th, oh, oh. One eight punch. There we go. And let me see what color. <laughs> I should have left this thing down here. Let me see what color of eyelets I have with me. Oh, I have gold. Do I? The question is, is do I have silver? I have silver and and bronze. So I don't have silver. No, I have bronze and gold. I do not have any uh, of that with me. Okay, no biggie. So I will just have to do this later uh, once I start doing this um, particular project. But I wanted to show you that you could make it easily into a double-sided, you know, piece of ephemera. And it wasn't that hard, was it? Anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight on the theme journal journey. Thank you for bleds at Amazon. Um, let me show you that one more time. That would be bleds craft supplies on Amazon. Buy three items and get 5% off. And I'll put all that information down below the video. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to all the new members and bear with me while I move my craft room from Arizona, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico to Arizona. Have a good night. Bye.